Greetings. Okay, it's not a Halloween video. It's about Mattel. It turns out that Mattel got rid of two awesome of their animated series. We know that Mattel created all oh, Ever After High and Monster High, Monster High. I love those two. Yeah, they love Frankie, Draculaura, Claudine, Gulia, Cleo, and of course. What? Dracula is one of my favorite characters. Okay, she's a vegetarian. But, they revamped it. It was just. You already know how my feelings on the revamp is. But, as for Ever After Hype, this made me. Oh my god! I just read a information that on September 3rd, I mean, on August 29th, Mattel cancelled it! Mattel cancelled Ever After High. Here's the message from Mattel. Monster High creeps on. Produced is still available at retail and natural wide world. As for Ever After High, these stories have been closed for now. But who knows they'll be open? Yeah, right. So it turns out Ever After High, our dear beloved story with Raven Queen, Apple White, Red Hood. Oh my god. All my favorite characters are now gone. Monster High is still alive, but not good alive because if you know the doll sells, I know it's the doll and it kind of kind of, no, no, I don't like this at all. Mattel, how could you do this? Ever After High was your strongest thing and you know what? My thoughts are still on the idea you guys would have crossed over with After After High and Monster High. It would have been awesome, but no. Due to the factor that the Creator of Monster High left Mattel and wanted to play and make and play new dolls. But what about the creator of After After High? Ever After High was an amazing program. I mean, we got to see the children of characters. They were just amazing. But now it's like pfft, Mattel doesn't care a dang a damn about Ever After High. Ever After High had the wonderful characters: the daughter of Beauty and the Beast, the daughter of Snow White, the daughter of, of the Evil Fairy, the daughter of even the even the queen, but no, it's like they're all gone. After Ever High has been canceled, cut, death, put to sleep by that magic apple. I'm reading information right now about it, and yeah, it's definitely unless the former creativities. So I say it's over. Ever After High has gone with Titanic. Excuse me for a reference that. The Monster High series was a thing that casted for so many things. There's so many specials and awesome. Their shows were, their episodes were were awesome. The stories were wonderful. But here's some upcoming news. Unfortunately, it's not the news you want to hear. We're going to get some new updated um, Monster High at, um, October 6th, which is probably passed already. Yes, it's October 6th today. It looks like we're going to get a release of something new from Monster High, October 6th, and that's today. And it's Master of Universe, December 18, 2019. If Barbie's, ugh, May 220. Why do I care? I don't care. Hot Wheels and the Beasties, yeah. But nothing of Monster High. Nothing of Ever After High. So I'm afraid Monster High, yes. But Reform is kind of, And now Dracula has a sister. I know, even even Frankenstein has a little sister, and Dracula, even Claude, even like Claudine has brothers, and even Dracula's father's fall in love with Claudine's mom. That would make them like sisters. I wouldn't do well. Okay, okay, I'm not against vampires and werewolves. It's just you know. But they haven't put Claudine in there. I mean, where's Claude? As I've said before, Claude has disappeared from Monster High. I like the old ones. I've downloaded all the all the Monster High movies because most of them inspire me to create. When I was watching the uh, Paris movie, it inspired me to create this. When I was watching Claudine doing her, um, well. The fashion bit, the fashion for Augustier or defeating her, I was inspired to create this. I'm just getting a I was 
was inspired to turn these pants into a skirt. A ladybug skirt. So I transformed these pants into a skirt. It inspired me. I love, I love how she was. I love Gulia. Now they're just messed up. We're not out here talking about them. We're talking about Ever After High. Ever After High is seriously gone now, guys. And those are fans who are ever right. And the last story was pretty darn good. The only thing I liked about it was the Billy and the Beast reference. Because the daughter of Belle fell in love with Prince Charming, who ended up was the Beast, who was cursed by the Snow Queen's husband and all that. Ever after high? Where did you go? Where are you now? Oh, wait a minute. I am watching videos about news about the cancellation, and it's just... It's just terrible. Ever After High is gone. It's like... It's not in a good way. We were going to get a wonderful idea of Monster High meeting Ever After High. Unfortunately, that never existed. At one point on the Wikipedia, before the movie was canceled, the idea was on there. And I was like, oh my god, this is so awesome. But then the next time I looked, it was gone. <sighs> Honestly... Mattel, you pulled a rabbit out of your ass and showed us I've been awesome. I tell you, took it out of our hearts. Great work, Mattel. You're going to be worse than shit, girls. Sorry, I almost said this. I almost said the curse word. Sorry about that. <laughs> but yes, the book series was also phenomenal. But luckily, a fan of the Monster High and Ever After High written a book of them meeting each other for the first time. And the book was just Beautiful. It's called the Storybook of Legends. No, wait, no, wait. No, wait. The Legend of Shadow High. After Ever High meets Monster High. This book was an amazing story. It was just awesome. The one who written it, oh my god, she had written amazing story. She, instead of us watching the movie, the book was perfect. The book was awesome. Plus, we actually got to see Raven's mom in it, too. If you guys want to check out the story, it's really good. I have the book, and I've read it, actually. So, it's better than nothing, guys. If you want to if you want to, if you want to see a crossover between Monster High and Ever After I, I'll show you a link to the book, and you can read it yourself. Why do you have to buy it at Amazon? I have the copy of it, but I'm put it in my boxes. This is the fact that I am moving on Monday. But don't worry, everything will be on. And as you've been seeing lately, I've been recording my Halloween videos a lot. I've been posting them every morning. And no, you won't be getting a new one today because I actually made a triple feature yesterday and Era 3. So you'll be getting a new one on Monday. If I can, that is. I have to I wake up early in the morning around 8. So that way I have to get things packed. <sighs> but back to our top story, and it's Ever After High. Ever After High is amazing. And I'm going to count my top favorite characters from the show. It's so sad it's done. <laughs> it's dead it's gone. And I really don't want it to go. Ever After High was just awesome. They're all awesome characters. Why did Mattel have to be an asshole? Excuse the language here, but yeah, they're assholes. They're stupid Imbeciles. Idiots. Mooks. Canooks. Mook means idiot in African also. I learned that from Tom Pumba TV search. I don't know if it's true or not, but eh, to me it is. My favorite characters. Apple White. Even though she's so sparkly and perfect and perky, she has a downside, dark side to herself too. If she needs to be done, she'll have it done in a flash. And plus, her style's red. I love red. Then, there's, of course, <laughs> Alice, I mean, Aslan Ella, daughter of Cinderella. Shoes, of course, but she did forbidden love with not so Prince Charming. That was beautiful. Then, Briar Beauty, a party girl that I love. And she's amazing. She has a very good characteristics, I would say. I mean, come on. That's supposed to be being able to hear everything and for a mile, once in a while, she's asleep. Wow. Amazing. And then there's Dexter Charming. I thought he was going to end up the, the beast. But apparently, we don't know what kind of path he's going to have. 
Is he going to be Prince Charming? I know that his brother Darren ended up becoming the Beast. So, yeah. I wonder how much going to happen. Here. And, of course, Raven Queen! My favorite one. As you know, I was able to draw my pony form to look like her, which, well, pony form at least. She's just an amazing character. She tries to show that you don't have to follow in your mom or your parents' footsteps. You can be who you want to be. When I was watching that show, when I was doing a lot of things in my life, that show made me feel like I can do anything I want. And I started working. I started pumping. I started making things. I started making pillowcases, quilts, blankets, mirrors. To prove myself to my family and friends. And I have what it takes to be who I am. Raven Queen is just awesome. Plus, I know that we have mothers that makes us do what we have to do to survive. But my mom is definitely like, yeah, she's definitely the queen. And as for me, I'm just trying to survive. So this is my favorite. Then, of course, there's <laughs> peas and carrots. Oh, did I confuse you? Want a cup of tea? You can guess who I'm talking about, don't you? Yeah, it's her. Doctor of the wacky but lovable Chocobin, the Mad Hatter. Madeline is one of my favorite funniest characters ever. I mean, come on. She takes tea out of, she takes tea out of her ear, tea out of her hole. I mean... I mean, hat. She's amazing. She's funny. Plus, I've read Alice in Wonderland. I love Alice in Wonderland. The first and second book. I was able to get the second one. I was lucky. <laughs> and Caesar Wood. Not? No, no. Yeah, they both have the same. I mean, they're both hood. They're both family. But I like Caesar better. She has a werewolf ears. Come on. Her father is the frickin' werewolf. It's the frickin' big bad wolf. But no, in the end, kind of goody. So basically, yeah, you can have a wolf who is who can. You can have a father who is a wolf, and you have a mother as a human. That's amazing. And there's Chester, <laughs> and believe me, she was crafty as her mother. And as for the, of course, poppy old hair, <laughs> Rapunzel has twins. And there's, of course, my number one fave, da, 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 Rose Bella Beauty. Daughter of Beauty and the Beast. Brightest cousin. Special ability to see people who really are. And plus, she loves books like I do. She loves animals, anything beast. She's just like Belle. And believe me, you know that Belle is my, uh, she inspired me for everything, really. She inspired me for reading, for studying, for making sure that you love and take care of your family. And love those around you who are not pretty. It doesn't matter how you look on your own. It's the anti Then there's Nina Thumper, which is kind of... Oh, honorable mentions. The honorable mentions are going to be Millie Piper, because for her music! <laughs> She's amazing. And, of course, the unknown character, Brooke Page, a young narrator in training, who actually had a chance to be in the book. If you guys want to read it, go ahead and check it out. The Legend of Shadow High, Ever After High, Monster High. It's an awesome story. It's so amazing! It's just sad that Ever After High is dead. Oh, <laughs> it's just so sad that it's dead. Just a zombie as Gulia. So yeah, as of 2016, it's gone. The last of its wonderful creations that existed was a big bad secret. And it was the last one that's ever shown. And the last special was Epic Winter Snow Day, Wicked Winter Ice. And that was the last one. And I love their song. Plus, every time when I sing it, um, sometimes it um, helps me connect with my family. Don't ask. Let's just say, every time when I hear it, I feel like I'm being watched by my relative, by someone I love and miss in heaven. It makes me feel happy. That's my thoughts on Ever After High and its cancellation. Oh my god. So guys, if you want the link to the story, I'll send you a link of it. Oh well, guys, have a lovely day and... And at least Monster High is still growing. But I hate it! It's so bad! Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it!